to the struggle. Uh, this is Candace Thompson. You've got Jackie Fabulous. Ooh, ooh, oh, hey, guys. On the ones and twos over there. What to do? Let me turn off my the ringer on my phone. We've been sitting here talking about for our- three hours for th- <laughs> instead of recording And anything. we have nothing to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> now we're like, so I bought a new eyeliner. <laughs> All right. And I- <laughs> Yeah, we had a three-hour warm-up. <laughs> you know, it's like, well, we, we covered lunch, everything. And so. we discussed everything. <laughs> All right, guys, this was good. <laughs> See you next week. Uh, but Jackie, you know, you were... Okay, so this... Uh, welcome back to The Struggle. Hey. And uh, Jackie, you were saying that you're struggling with some anxiety. Yes. Right now. Did we say my full name? Do we do that anymore? It don't matter. I'm Jackie Onassis. Um, What's your full name? No, Jackie Fabulous. Did, oh. we, did we say that? Did you yeah, say my full oh, name? I didn't hear anything. Yeah. Was, On the ones and twos. I was texting a boy because that's what happens. Oh, me. okay. We'll get to that next. Nah, no, no, not a boy, a potential boy, a man. Which you were just still... texting a man, but nothing, not about anything sexual. No, 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 no. no. Oh. Most of my texts, <laughs> if you, t- you, if you take that? my phone and look at my text messages, it's like all dudes and maybe a girl here and there. I have a problem. Okay, well, we'll discuss. We'll talk about that. We'll discuss. Yes, yes. My struggle is I get overwhelmed and I drop off society when I get overwhelmed or I don't want to go anywhere. What do you mean? You just stay in your room curled up in a ball, shivering naked in fetal position? Because that's, that's sometimes what I do. And I'm getting high at the same time. So well, naked <laughs> fetal position in a ball, crying and smoking. <laughs> And then I realized at six o'clock, I have a show at eight. Let me at, clean this up. Right. And is there food involved too? <laughs> you know what? I've, the emotional eating has cut down a lot because I don't put any, I don't keep any good foods in my kitchen or my fridge. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm the kind of On person purpose? where, yes. I don't know people, <laughs> I compare this to uh, when I used to live in Orange County and my friends were mostly white. And my girlfriends would have these, you know, their homes with their family. Mm-hmm. I'd babysit. And one girlfriend, white female with three white kids, white husband, I'd babysit. It's a lot I'd, of white people. A lot of white pantry filled snacks with every junk food you could everybody in her family is fit and skinny snacks on and snacks. I'm like how on, bitch how in the fuck do you keep double stuff anything they have willpower in the pantry she's like and she's she's texting me what, did we have texting then I don't remember and she's like well if you're hungry you know I, she, she lists the food that I could have it was everything I ever dreamed of <laughs> And I was like, bitch, you don't have, like, a salad or nothing? She's like, well, no, we don't have anything fresh. This is my fantasy cupboard. But if you want ice cream, she had, yeah. like, eight flavors, all the chips, Oreos, liquor. I was like, bitch, why aren't you 400 why pounds? <laughs> I don't have none of this shit in my house because I can't. Portion. Yeah, most people can't. It's portion control. It's, it's hard. portion control. I haven't walked down a cookie aisle in Ralph's in years. <laughs> It's triggering. I can't do it. So they say if you want to, you know, eat properly. Don't ever go on in the inside aisle. That's where the good shit is. Yeah, don't go on the inside, and also don't shop when you're hungry. Yeah, I stop, stop doing up. that. But you know what? You know about Halo Top? I've heard about it. Is it low calorie ice cream? Bitch, you can eat a whole pint. And it's like 340 calories just for the, for the whole pint. Normally, a pint is yeah. going to be at least like six to eight hundred calories. What, what is it made of? Why is it? I keep, I've heard about it, it is, on social media. It's still dairy. Like they have the dairy free kind for vegans, and then they have regular that does have some milk product in it. But mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't ask questions. Have you had it? Yeah. It's, I hear it's good. It's good. It's good. Where do you get it? At the regular, you can get it at Ralph's. Oh. They have it. Every, it's literally everywhere because it's it's doing very well. But and there's so many flavors, so I can't vouch for all the flavors. If you see me in three months and I am twice this size. It's Halo Top. You'll be like, Jack, I you didn't see eat, eat seven all of, of them. them. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to try it, bitch. Jesus Christ. Yeah. But no, it's one of those ones where if you have, like the other day, you know, right after I got dumped, I was went straight to Ralph's. Of course. At like one o'clock in the morning mm-hmm. and was like, where are the Lay's potato chips <laughs> and the Halo Top? Uh-huh. And I did because I wanted <clears throat> savory and sweet. Mm-hmm. And so I did. And I monitored myself with the chips, but I polished off that Halo Top. <laughs> And I didn't feel nearly as bad about it. Because, no, but when you have haagen and stuff, you always feel like, God damn it. Well, yeah, because, yeah. And I, and honestly, I've never eaten, a, I would never, I never let myself eat a whole pint of ice cream because I knew I'd feel awful afterwards. Mm-hmm. Even though I wanted to, I stopped myself. I'd like stick myself with a needle to yeah. stop eating it. <laughs> but um, with Halo Top, I'm telling you, guilt free. I'm going to try it. It better be fantastic. Okay, the- lower your expectations because... <laughs> Because it better be Ben like, and Jerry's, bitch. I feel, no, no, it's I'm not, you know it's not going to be Ben and Jerry's. No, but okay. it is, the consistency is very similar to ice cream. Oh, here we so go. Texture here we go wise, with the bullshit, Paul. No, you no, no. No, I'm just saying, yeah. you know how you'll eat something that's low fat 
and it'd be like, what's this bullshit? It doesn't yeah. even no, these feel days, like it in your mouth. Yeah. Sometimes it's like it's like the crunch of a potato chip is what's satisfying. Yeah, these you know? days, all the health foods, they, they know now. Right. If you're going to sell it, it got to taste like real food. Right. Yeah, so it's different these and days. And so, like, yeah, sometimes it's, it, it is, yes, about the taste, but mm-hmm. also the texture. Like, you remember snack wells? Those yes. cookies when they took the fat? That shit was dry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then those were all the rage back in the day. That's when they was on that low fat kick. Yeah. And then they replaced all the fat with the sugar. Oh, okay. So that's where they make, they're like, oh, it's low fat. But it's like, yeah, but it's more sugar. So it's just as bad for yeah. you. Also, it's dry as shit. Yeah, so they're, not, they're not tasty creamy cookies you can't at all. Yeah, take butter out and then put more <laughs> sugar. That it's sounds not, gritty as fuck. It's not called a cookie anymore without butter? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's no. a dry ass it's cracker. Chalk. <laughs> with, a, with a vanilla flavor to it. It's mint flavored chocolate. <laughs> yeah. So Halo Top, I recommend um, flavors I would recommend so far that I've had. I like the lemon cake flavor. Mm. They have a, Those words together along get me on my nipples hard. Uh-huh. Right. And they have a cookie dough one. <laughs> yes, always cookie dough. And I think they have an oatmeal cookie one that I like as well. Mm, okay. All right, I'm going to try. Yeah, try it. You know, I'm just saying. That's, you know, my my if I were to be honest... With my, one of my struggles, and this is a real admission, right? Mm-hmm. America and parts of Fresno. I've been smoking. <laughs> is that our demographic? I have no idea. <laughs> I've been I've been smoking too much cannabis. What do you mean by too much? First of all, I'm so excited that I found out about it. A weed? Yeah. You just found out about it? How about that, that it's easier to get now? Because it's legal now. I'm from the, the decades of it being... Weed is oh, heroin. Get, I can't talk to you anymore. Yeah, you get locked up for 15 years. I was raised, though. I was raised yeah. to think all, because nobody in my family drinks or smokes that, that, that I've seen. Or who raised me? I don't believe you guys are Jamaican. My immediate people who raised me don't drink or smoke. I don't it's believe very, you, they're not be, fun. I don't believe you guys are Jamaican. My family's not fun. Mother and father aren't, they're not fun people. They're wonderful, but they're boring. So I always was in the good girl world because of by default, not because they told me. I didn't see it. You just didn't grow up with it. I didn't right. grow up with it. So, and if I met guys who smoked it, I'd always date them, but not date them publicly. I'm like, he's a pothead. I can't let the yeah. world see that I like a guy. Well, I still feel like weed. that. Me too. <laughs> I still you, feel the shame. You, you hide the criminals. Like, yeah, shh, he's cute, is, but he don't come outside. You don't. Yeah, not you in the stay daytime. here. I'll see you at ten o'clock. You wait for me in the car. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna knock twice on the window. Yeah. <laughs> and after the show is over, you open the door naked. Don't call me in the daytime. <laughs> don't call me. I'll call you. Exactly. We all, every girl got that guy. Was like, shh. <laughs> don't talk. What happened to Darrell? Don't, you, how you know about Darrell? So that kind of. <laughs> so I always would shun the guys who smoke. So and in, in being in California for the last seventeen years, didn't smoke it, didn't care about it. Mm-hmm. So now that the stigma it's it still done. exists, but it's not illegal anymore. Right. So I my this is how I you know what triggered it. Some show at the comedy store in the main room, the promoter or whoever. Paid each comic with a gigantic shoebox of weed. Yes. Of weed edibles, the yep. pens, the vape, everything was everything in there. All the tools. Although I did a, I did the same person's show recently. The box was way small. I was going to say, over he had time, less the, swag, weed in it. <laughs> the swag gets less and less over time. The first box of swag, I was like, this is $1,000 in this motherfucker right here. pounds a week. Exactly. I gave it away. I called friends in my house. I was like, look, I'm not going to smoke. I mean, I can, <laughs> but I shouldn't. And I was giving away joints. They were like, where the fuck you get this? Yeah. So I gave away a lot, but still had a lot left over. And I still have some. It's almost. It's just now running out. Because I smoked all, All of it. it. Wait, and how long ago was it? How long did it take you to the, go through it? Maybe four or five months. See, I don't, I don't even, I'm such a novice I, with I weed. I don't even that know I don't that's even good know, or bad. Exactly. Right. I, I don't know if like a person who is like truly addicted to weed yeah. would say that that's, that's something I would do yeah. or if that's just a, a way that a, a normal amount it. of time to get through that. I just like the way it's numbed my anxiety. I took it. I, I got a medical card <laughs> yeah. because arthritis was starting to happen. I'm not sure where or how, but mm-hmm. my joints. And But then I realized, after the research, if I cut back on the dairy and stuff, my Absolutely. joints hurt less. Mm-hmm. So that if helped. you have seven uh, pints of Halo Top a week, <laughs> you Get also... ready for the fingers and be like, bitch, are you 90? What happened? <laughs> oh, I was going to say it's, it's going to cure the... Oh. oh. <laughs> it's also, that's also something Halo Top does. It cures arthritis. It does not. No. Okay. <laughs> So I, I got it for anxiety, and I'm an entertainer, an artist, an actor, whatever, so I have plenty of that. Right. So the weed helped all that. But I got used to, and I got to enjoy the numbness. Yeah. 
And that's how people get addicted to it. Exactly. But the thing is that I can stop, get dressed, go out, and for hours not smoke. Mm -hmm. But then when I get home, boy, I'd be so happy to go home. I think you've turned yourself into a pothead, Jackie. No! Have I? I think you've become Sh- what I you've love been Jesus. shaming this Don't whole tell entire my mother. You've become what you shamed. <laughs> you know, the guy in New York, one of the guys that I would hide because he's a pothead. Yeah. When I would go home to visit now, I'd be like, yo, why you didn't tell me? He was like, I told you for 20 years. <laughs> that weed is okay. This is amazing. You'll be fine. And I was like, are you sure? Because it's like, have you ever had, like, I've had all of it, Jackie. <laughs> but in New York, it's such a, a ordeal to still get. It's like a heroin deal no, still, no, in still. The, on the East Coast. I was with my girl uh, who smokes all the time. I mm-hmm. love her. Uh, and she was walking down. We were just walking back from a restaurant uh-huh. and she would have to go step into a corner <laughs> to go smoke. And I was like, what are you doing? Because yeah. I'm so used to just out here. <laughs> Everybody just juggling <laughs> weed in the streets. Like, it's not a big deal. Uh-huh. But she literally had to hide herself on the streets. And I was like, what are you? Are you, you shooting what up? Is what are you this? doing? Yeah, she looked like she was shooting up. Absolutely. Uh-huh. Are you giving head to a homeless person? What is happening? <laughs> oh, it's just weed? Oh. Bitch, why are you hiding? Right. Take the hoodie off. What's we going a, on? We live in a bubble. Yeah. So in, in New York, I would the guy that I was seeing would go, I'd say I, I'm in the mood to smoke. Yeah. So for him, that became my, oh, well, I, I got to get dressed. And put my hoodie on mm-hmm. and I'll be back. Yeah. Where the fuck are you going? I'll be back. <laughs> and he would be gone literally a half hour. Well, I'm exaggerating. Oh, He'd be gone for a minute <laughs> because he got to go. He got to call his boy, yeah, arrange to meet him. I said, I said, I didn't want eight ball. I wanted weed. Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> I'm like, you still, I'm like, you don't have to live like this anymore. No, move to L.A. They deliver it to your door. So part of me wanted, wants him to come to California only, because I know this was that was a teenager. Just come to see that he you won't don't got to live like this. He won't leave. Now, I, and part, now I'm scared also, if he comes to visit and he stays in my stay. apartment, I won't be able to get this thing out of my house. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> you can't, if he, if you introduce him to California weed, which is amazing, by the way, yeah. which is even better than Jamaica weed, by mm-hmm. the way. Yeah, a lot of people don't, don't realize that. But I'm like... Jamaica weed is natural, and it's good. But they'll slide, but a, they'll, here, they'll slide a palm tree in there. It won't be all good shit. <laughs> okay, right. Right. And it's good, but yeah. here they, they you know, it's in laboratories and shit. They mm-hmm. manipulate it to be more potent, and mm-hmm. it's just, it's better here. Yeah. Which sounds crazy, but it's true. So I wouldn't be able to, he wouldn't be able to leave. So he I don't. won't. No, I'm not asking you. <laughs> you're I'm like guaranteeing. He won't leave. <laughs> Next time I see you, you'll be like. The <laughs> fact that, it deli- that it's better. I know. And that it gets delivered yeah. to. Like a pizza? If I brought, if I opened up my purse and showed him like four joints, he's like, oh, he would propose. <laughs> and where'd you get these? I'm like, they're out of le- It's legal. Right it's down the street. It's right down the street. <laughs> you can go next door. You can go get a bag, bag of Doritos. And some weed. <laughs> and some weed. They got weed flavored <laughs> Doritos <laughs> at Ralph's now. Exactly. I can go grocery shopping and come back with all weed infused groceries. <laughs> <laughs> they just sell edibles at 7-Eleven. Exactly. <laughs> My pastor gave me this bag. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what it's like out here now. Oh, so if visitors come here now and be like, I'm not going back to where the fuck I was from. Communion now is <laughs> wine and weed. What's in this wafer? Puff, puff pass. What's in this wafer, priest? <laughs> you know what's in that bitch. Have an edible wafer. It's hilarious. <laughs> With the wine? You're like, church is lit. What a change. I was already eating too many of the wafers. <laughs> and they didn't even taste good. Oh, my God. I'm, it's like a bag of chips. Now you be hungry. You ain't got no time to eat for church. Don't be stingy with them wafers. I have so many times I've been like, you gonna eat that wafer? <laughs> you bring like some spread to put on it. Because when you be in church, you be hungry. Dipping in some hummus. Oh my God. And it tastes like an ice cream cone, but no flavor. It's like a shell. It's like a it shell. It tastes like, a, yeah, there's no flavor. But when I'm you're like, hungry, you're like, nah, I'm gonna take that. I'll take it. I'm an atheist. Let me get some of that. Something. It does satisfy something. <laughs> yes, it does. The, the hour sitting there knowing it, you're not going to eat anytime soon. Right. It could have more seasoning on it. it could. <laughs> they know they could make it a little more salty. <laughs> saltine. So that's my struggle. And I'm I've, I'm cutting mm-hmm. back because I've run out. <laughs> the way you get me to cut back is required that I go get it. You run out of the weed. I'll be like, I'm not going to go back and buy it in bulk like that. Now I'll buy it like a normal person. Yeah, no, go get. You have a vape pen, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> get a cart. That's my favorite way, actually. Even above uh, the edibles mm-hmm. and the uh, smoking it. Smoking yeah. is my least favorite just because. It's not sexy. You smell. You it's smell. Just, it makes it burns my throat. Yes. It's, it's a lot just, happening. It's not sexy. The, the smoking. Yeah, it's my least the favorite. The vape is better. The edibles I like to go to sleep at night. Yes. The edible, I can't do an edible and be functional and not slur and sound like a complete pothead. I think you've had too much of the edible <laughs> at this point now. Well, now I'm scared you're... because you never really know what an edible is going to do to you. You don't. Even if I... you have a small dose, you're like, but I don't know. Check with me in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That's all you can say now. Yeah, no, I'm telling. They need to stop putting it in delicious foods. Exactly. Can we talk about. I feel like yeah, we I feel we did that. Right. I'm like, if yeah, y'all like, put it in foods that I will eat in moderation in because I can't eat right. it all, right? We'd be way better. <laughs> put it in a spinach quiche. Right. I'm gonna have one teaspoon, if that. <laughs> well, first of all, I would eat the whole thing. Exactly. But you're putting it in cakes and cookies in delicious things. Oh come on. So yeah, what, no. and, well, Jackie, only have a only have one quarter of this cookie. It's mm-hmm. a cookie. You know, I saw the joke. Chris Cope. A- you know, Chris Chris Cope, mm-hmm. white guy. He did a mm-hmm. joke on Facebook. He posted one of his sets jokes and he was like, they tell you only eat a quarter of the cookie. Mm-hmm. And he's like, who eats a quarter of a fucking cookie? He's like, stop putting it in this stuff so I cannot eat the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, because he's a big guy. He's a big right? guy. Yeah. So telling a big guy, telling anybody who likes cookies, yeah. only eat, eat a quarter, quarter of, of the cookie. cookie. And who doesn't like cookies? Exactly. So then you eat the whole thing and then you, then you got to warn your friends and family, check, check, check back with me in two hours. Right. Because I ate, why? I ate the whole cookie. I ate the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just FYI, I might be dead. Just put a mirror under my nose exactly. to make sure that I'm still breathing. And, and I have like to drive home, but yeah. I'm going to sleep over because I I guarantee you I can't drive in two hours. <laughs> 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 That's when you know that you go to a party and it becomes edible time is put the keys in the bowl. Oh, Ain't nobody driving back. Nobody, you can't. And that's how you know the weed is that strong. People who drink and drive all the time. All the time. Every now and then, once in a while, we're like, you know what? I got to go home. I know I'm fucked up, but just... Trust me. Forgive me. Which is terrible. But when right. people who can control all that decide, you know what? I can't drive. Matter of fact, where's my car? I have no idea where, where I left it, is. where I parked it. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen my keys in three hours. Yeah. That's how you know it's strong. Where people are like, I know I don't know you that well, but can I sleep here? <laughs> in your bed? In your bed. Because I'm really high. Because you had a you had a, a buffet. A buffet of edibles. Of edibles. And you now you have a lot of guests for the weekend. <laughs> or you could just pay for my Uber. Exactly. Right. I'll come back on Monday when I remember right. what's going on. Or Lyft. Don't use Uber. It's a terrible <laughs> company. <laughs> Are they still terrible? They're still terrible. You said you that know, last time. Remember, I, I didn't ask any questions. I said on the podcast? Yeah, you did. And you, you didn't qualify to say why. Oh, I'll qualify it. Um, no, they're just a terrible company because they are trying to monopolize road travel, transportation. So they're trying to... Their goal is to... Uh, get rid of all the taxi cabs and get rid of all other form of road transportation. How? Pub- they're go- by growing and then putting all these other companies out of business. So it's not Lyft too. Lyft is still, they're trying to get, of course they're trying to get Lyft. Yeah, out of, business. of course. But, um, but yeah, mostly yeah. Taxi cabs. Um, so that they can, so that they can jack up prices and we won't have anything and to choices, say about it. No choices. Exactly. Yeah. Which is, you know, the, the prices issue. have gone up. Absolutely. The prices are going up exponentially. Yeah. And I think that's also because people are dipping. Like, I'm, I don't use them anymore. I use them in emergency situations only. Um, but they're like, you know, they're like Amazon. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's it's getting out of hand. Mm-hmm. Like, and the thing is, I don't, I don't think I can ever stop using Amazon. <laughs> Amazon is satisfying. I have everything. I ordered a horse <laughs> on Amazon last week, Jackie. I bought a horse. That's how you got here, by the way. <laughs> I'm on horse. <laughs> <laughs> it's outside waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> The thing about Amazon, it, it is equally as satisfying even to just pick stuff and put it in the yes. in the in the shopping stuff cart. You don't even need. If you looked at my random it's just so easy. My Amazon has a pair of shell toe Adidas, a pink tool skirt. <laughs> in your cart right now? A, yeah, a, a like a patio set, like a little barbecue. <laughs> I don't even have a patio. Conditioner, <laughs> coffee, water, tampons. Yeah. <laughs> when you open up my Amazon box, yeah. you're like, bitch, I don't know who you are. Who is this? Right. This random shit is in there. Yeah. But, but it's incredible. And it'll be delivered to you tonight. Yes. Like, it'll be. Once you press send, ding dong. Yeah. How the fuck? How did you? I don't <laughs> care. Thank you. <laughs> it's Christmas. <laughs> Every day it's Christmas. But then they did the thing where they wanted to have it where they could open the door and drop your package. You saw the whole Amazon, the new movement. Open your door. Yeah. There's an app you got to buy, of course, <clears throat> where the delivery guy. You give you you give them permission and through the no you buy something that you can have a, like a security camera no it's, it's, it's mostly for homeowners apartment people don't really have this and you you give uh, delivery permission to open the door because you're gonna leave it unlocked yeah because you you're waiting for the delivery they will let you know when they're on their way they'll message you okay and that way you can unlock your door via the mechanism you buy for your home okay so for it's like an automatic in, lock that you can control and they come in the and app, drop yeah. the box at the corner. So Amazon has gotten so crazy. Sophisticated. People are like, look, I'm missing my shit. It's getting stolen. Well, yes. So now they're like, well, you can just go in the kitchen and drop it on the counter. 
Who? So that means you're going to have to trust the delivery dude. Well, you, they, everything is monitored. So if God forbid you can find them if he steals your shit. But it's still a risk. Still, I don't like it. It's right. still a huge risk. Still, I don't like it at do, all. Do you, do you need your bag of almonds that badly? <laughs> and that you know that's what it is. Your that's flaxseed? It's something that's not important. You need your flaxseed for your that, smoothies you that badly? The Metamucil that badly? <laughs> Well, actually, probably you do. You do <laughs> that. You probably you probably do. all back. Bad up. example. You're my backed bad. up. <laughs> do you need to <laughs> buy your ten pills that badly? Right. Well, yeah. Actually, yes, actually, my hair, my hair is grow. important. <laughs> uh, and my nails. Exactly. Uh, they have the Amazon lockers now. You know about that? No. So they have. It looks kind of like a vending machine type. You know, it looks like a red box, mm-hmm. and it'll be like at Seven Elevens or like the grocery store. Mm-hmm. So they can drop your shit there. You can request it to be dropped off at the locker, and then you can go to that locker and pick it up. Oh, which I think is better than having. That's better than coming inside my goddamn house. Yes. Yeah, I yeah. like that idea. Yeah, that's smart. It's like having a PO box, exactly for real shit. Yeah. If you really want, they're taking everything over. Amazon is owns everything. Oh now. my god! I remember when they were only books. And now they have Amazon Live books. Like you go to there's an Amazon bookstore in malls now. They have one at Century City. You just go in and it's all books and it's just Amazon from Amazon. Really? Yes. Why do they do that? I, think like I don't know, money. but it was nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I'm going back tomorrow. <laughs> but isn't that like a Barnes and Noble? It's the same shit, isn't it? They basically put Barnes and Noble like out of business or and not the, Barnes and, and Noble. And they open up a store? Like, yes. That's fucked up. <laughs> but that's what, that's what Uber would be. Yeah. Oh. No, no control over it. So like, yeah. And Uber, again, is worse because, you know, they had, they're just a terrible company. They don't treat their employees. Yeah, well. racist. They don't pay them well. And all the racist. Heard, yeah. All the sexual assault that's happening with the, the drivers. So yeah. yeah, fuck Uber. Oh my God. I, I prefer- just like saying Uber better than I- Lyft though, right? It sounds better. Uber sounds cool. I, I like saying calling an Uber sounds better than calling Lyft. Yeah. I like Lyft. I prefer, I, like I prefer the Lyft company. I prefer obvious. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. 100%. I just don't like the cars. Like I've never been picked up in a nice lift. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been. No, Uber will every now and then because, because everybody's driving to make extra money. Luxury yeah. car. You might even know what you're going to get. Right. I've gotten many a nice car at Uber and I didn't ask for it. Yeah, no. It's what, up, it's what came. Just order the, just <laughs> order order Escalade. A That's all they had. Escalade. <laughs> Escalade limo. Okay. I ain't got no control over yeah. this. But Lyft, I've never been picked up in anything better than no. an 86 Civic. <laughs> With a dent, you can't a have a car that old, the and they wouldn't allow it's you to. It's not that old, but they're not, not. I have yet to be picked up in a decent, and that's also like I could change. You know, I could. Yeah, you could ask, could for, ask but for. But when you're in a no rush, need. you're like, and I need no, to sit and get there. And there's no Doesn't point. make a difference, right? You know what I want to stop though? I don't think people who drive pickup trucks should be allowed to do, if to lift an Uber. I'm not comfortable getting in the back oh, of yes. a truck. Someone, did, <laughs> someone told a me Tacoma. that. Tacoma. I don't like any of that shit. No F one fifty. No, I know we got you got to pay your car note and you got to make your bills, but. You know, I don't want to be, I'm 5'4". I don't want a little woman cr- trying to I get agree. a running start to jump into a motherfucking <laughs> pickup truck. <laughs> I already have a hard time getting in all SUVs because I'm short. But Same. now I got Jose in the front. I know. And he's opening the door. I'm just like, is this here? Yeah, they, that should be like <clears throat> lift. That should be only available if you have a, a function for it. Like, let's say yeah. I'm calling Lyft to help me move some shit. Which, <laughs> does that exist? Because that should. I don't know, but that's, oh. They should have that. Because that they make a lot of fucking money. Absolutely. Lift every, movers? Moving is, yeah. Oops, okay, put a pin in there. We're going <laughs> to, don't anybody steal our ideas. Okay. All these seven <laughs> listeners right now, do not <laughs> steal our fucking idea. All right. Copyright bitches. We'll know, we'll know who did it. Okay. But yeah. I, I don't know how we'll know, but we'll find out. <laughs> we'll call Amazon because they know. <laughs> they seem to know everything. Yeah, they know. But yeah, you're right. Unless you have a purpose. I don't want to get into a truck. Yeah, no, what's the, I don't understand. Why are you, I don't even understand why, if you have a truck, why you're driving Lyft. First, gas is going to be in, insane. You're not making any money to, to compensate for the the, yeah. the, the the car note and the gas. Yeah. And, you know, as a woman, I'm dressed up. I, you know, I usually wear skirts. Yeah. So, you know how awkward that is when yeah. I'm legs split open, yeah. my skirts all hiked up around my hips. I'm trying to get in the fucking truck. You know, <laughs> speaking of skirts, uh-huh. I'm just going to segue, but that's one of my struggles is what? I don't feel like I wear enough. I don't wear skirts. Do you feel like you should? I think so. According to who? (laughs) Society? No. Stop it. (laughs) I don't know. For what? You wear it. I don't know. You wear it when it's time to dress up. When do I ever have time? When do I? Your birthday you had on a cute little romper. It was my birthday. (laughs) (laughs) That's like once a year, Jackie. You know what it is? It's what? because I never have a guy, so I never get taken nice places. So I oh never. Oh my god, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> this set is sad, isn't it? Just do it. <laughs> do it for you. Forget about the guy. 
You never, you, you've never showed up to do a set, an important show, and worn a dress or a skirt. I wore one dress one time, and it was, you know, what dress? Well, you saw it. That, it's a. I think I wore. It may have been that same day. That's why I think I still had it on. The, the gray. It was a gray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember like a that. Tube yeah, that was cute. Thank you. But that and that's just because it's so easy to put on. Yeah. Like, and when it's hot outside, like I can just throw that on, mm-hmm. and it's so convenient. But and it's also like. I, I also had like a cardigan over it. Yeah. So I felt like, because I don't like showing skin on stage a lot because I feel yeah. like it's distracting. Yeah, nobody you know? paying attention when you, when right. this areola is showing almost. Exactly. So, yeah, <laughs> that's why. And I think that, and I think what happens with dressing up for me became so out of character for me because I perform so much that it's mm-hmm. like, that's not how I dress when I perform. Yeah. So I started, ended up like my life living, living my life dressed like how I am mm-hmm. on stage. Yeah, yeah. Which I feel like might be affecting me what? getting asked out. <gasps> Why? Because you wear jeans? Or just like not sexy. You're beautiful. Have you seen yourself? Thanks, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't that be enough to want to hit it? Well, you ain't no. got to wear a dress or a skirt. No. <laughs> I'm man repellent. You are not man. How can you? I don't, I don't understand. You're one of the enigmas I don't get. I don't understand it either. How are you man repellent? You smile all the time. They say they want bitches to smile. <laughs> <laughs> So what is it? <laughs> Why you don't smile, pretty girl? I am smiling. I... Why are you walking away from me? <laughs> That's your life. You're smiling too big. I gotta go. There's like, too what? many teeth. Yeah. I can see your back teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you smile too much. <laughs> so what is it? Jackie, I don't know. We're gonna hopefully Do you know how to podcast. flirt? I've never seen you flirt. Do you flirt? I know how to flirt. Okay. I know how to flirt. Well, we... I know. Well, we're, we're, this is obviously something that's happening yeah. in my life. That's a chronic issue. Yeah. And I believe part of it is because I had a great father, have a great father. Mm-hmm. And, I, you know, I talk about that in my stand up. But, you know, re- I got recently dumped by a dude who we talked about this mm-hmm. at Comedy and Magic the other yeah. night. Um, and I think we probably should fill in. How much time do we have, Paul? Yeah. Paul ain't paying attention. Paul's outside. I, <laughs> he's like, oh, I didn't even hit he's the out, He's out playing dice with the niggas in the front of the building. We got like half an hour. Okay. We, we do? Yeah. Oh. So, like, uh-huh. I feel like we did leave uh, people hanging because I did have a story about mm-hmm. dating a white guy. A, cauc- a Caucasoid, a Caucasian okay. gentleman. <laughs> yes, one of them. <laughs> one of them. Mm-hmm. And since then, so now a lot has transpired. <laughs> we have since, since then? Well, no, since we left off okay, the po- gotcha. letting our listeners know. Yes, yes, yes. So just to update them, you already know, mm-hmm. but we are not seeing each other anymore. And there is a possibility that. What? I told you this a comedy Possibility event. of what? That some people think oh. he might be of the homosexual persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> he likes that dick like I do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I understand if he does, it's delicious. I get it. Yeah, I get it. We always I'm get not it. judging. If you gay, of course you are. They're fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, no judgment over no here. No judgment. Be gay. We get it. Yeah. So I need to figure out with my dating life, because this is now the second time, or actually... Third, mm-hmm. <laughs> that I may or may not have been dating a gay guy. Well, the, the first time was, I was young, mm-hmm. high school, like college, and we weren't really dating. We just had messed around mm-hmm. and I had a big crush on him. But every time we were making out, he like stopped abruptly. Why? And never. And I would have let him like was, we was were a super Christian. Or was that why? No, no. I would have let, like, I was ready, like, on a couple of occasions, like, let's do this. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> I wonder, I wonder with you and I, if that turns guys off. So plenty of times I'm like, let's go. You well, ready? I didn't, I didn't say and some, that. And some of them get all like, oh my God. <laughs> well, I don't say it. It's oh. implied by my hard nipples. By your titties coming out? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and the panties flung over the, the headboard. <laughs> like, let's do this. So yeah, I didn't, I've never said that to him, but uh-huh. like with this guy back in like high school, college, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, we would make out and then it would just stop. And I, I never felt passion from him. Oh, for, okay, gotcha. Yeah, so, and okay, and so that was the first time, I think, and again, I, I don't even know this guy anymore, so I don't know what his deal is, but that was just, my gut was like, I think maybe he mm-hmm. might not be into women. Yeah. And then, which is understandable, it's 17, 18, 19 don't, years old. They're still working it out, don't know for sure. Right, yeah. I get it. But then, you know, and I had another boyfriend for over a year who mm-hmm. I believe to be a mm-hmm. homosexual, yes. and then now I think that this guy could be also... Because, again, with the making out kind of stopped abruptly. Mm -hmm. And then I told you what he said about my boobs. Right. Uh, And, you know, yes, let's listen. Let's let the audience hear all probably six of you now. Maybe we lost a listener. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) 
Uh, I'll tell you guys and then feel free to give me your feedback on this. Mm -hmm. If you're a man, uh, if you've ever said this or what it could possibly mean, maybe they give me some closure. But we were making out. Yeah. And uh, Mm -hmm. for the first time, it's first time the girls came out. And And that's supposed to be the hottest time. When it's it's brand new, it's going down. Brand fucking new. Yes. All All the newness, excitement, it's supposed to be the best night of your life. And and these nipples? Yeah. Here we go. Because every time I see her, she has to remind me. You know. Jackie, did I tell you today? Amazing about my nipples. nipples. You know what? I'm just going to start texting you like <laughs> weekly. Don't forget. Or just a picture of my nipples. <laughs> you choose. It could be a random text of just letters and words, or I could actually send you a nip, a nip pic. If, if in 10 years I'm like, guess who's a, a new lesbian? <laughs> Why? It is Candace's fault. She, she showed me her nipples every day in a text. And I'm like, fuck it. And I just gave in. And <laughs> I just gave in. <laughs> So we're making out, mm-hmm. which uh, we started making out on the couch, mm-hmm. and it went. Wait, let me ask details. Oh questions. yes, please, please. Making out on the couch, were you kissing with tongue? Yes. And, okay, but okay. Now, were you on top of him, laying down on the couch, sitting up, sitting and up? Uh, he's on the bottom, and I'm straddling him, <gasps> like going for a ride, facing him. Yes, facing oh, him, that's a, kissing. That's a very passionate, but it was fantastic way to kiss a man. I love that yeah, way. I agree. And I, at the time, was enjoying it very much. Yes. Because I did like him Where were, where were his, his hands when you were straddling him? All over. Kind of like um, back. Yeah. Mostly. How did your hands make his back when you're straddling him? Oh, you're asking my hands. Yes. Uh, his hands were on my back. 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 What part of my the back? My hands were kind of like on the back of his neck, his head. Run, I messed oh, up his hair a lot. No. <laughs> That's beautiful. Now, where did he, Where were his hands? His hands were like on my back. What part of the back? Upper, or lower, oh, mid? My, I feel like I'm being in, in an interrogation This is right how we now. figure out where guys' attentions are. We got to <laughs> play by play. I don't lower back crack area, that lower little dip no, they in the weren't back. Down. No, 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 no. They were they higher. Were, rib yeah, no, rib cage anything, area. Yeah. Bra strap or under? Well, I had taken off my bra, but my shirt was still okay, on. Hold up, point. see? See how the details would escape oh, you? Sorry. When did the bra come off? The and bra, who took it off? Who won buckle I bit? took it off. <gasps> you were going for it. You're like, today is the day, motherfucker. Yes, but all, <laughs> and also let me let me preface this by saying uh-huh. that well, I, shoot a, like, I know like, there's a net. Yeah, go ahead. He's trying to get in on this. <laughs> and he's trying to get to my fried rice. Exactly. He's like the snacks all You're open here. Smell it. Yeah. Um, I let also say that I initiated <laughs> us going to his place. To this point, this is our fifth date. Yes. We had four dates that yes. I thought were really went really well. Conversation yeah. was great. I thought he ended them abruptly, like all of them. <laughs> all the dates. All of them. Like I'd be ha- we'd be having great conversation, having drinks, and then all of a sudden it was like, "Well, you ready to go?" And I'm like, "Well, not really." Like I. <laughs> Kind of, I was planning on getting fucked up. What's going on? Right, this like an afternoon it, together. Right, and yeah. it was never like, well, you want to go back to my place or do you? Let me What's go next? Back? Yeah, never. What next? Yeah, which I always was like, and there was never a kiss or anything until the fifth date. And the fifth date, no kiss on the cheeks. A, a one peck on the lips. Yeah. on the fourth date, as okay. I was getting into my yeah. ride back lift or whatever. I All right. So then the fifth date, we were gonna go grab food, and then I was like, well, you know, we don't have to go to a, a restaurant. We could. Stay at your place. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm just like, can we make out? Like, how can I say this without just being like, yo, you gonna put hands on me or what? <laughs> the fuck we waiting for? <laughs> to clap talking. Get these titties out. <laughs> which, uh, which, in my opinion, a black guy would never need all that coaxing. In my opinion. Never. 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 Because they usually they're going too far too fast anyway. Right. Unless they're <laughs> of the homosexual persuasion, yes. which I ha- have experience with as well. Uh-huh. With a black guy. Yeah. So, and again, like I didn't, I didn't like see parallels in the behavior mm-hmm. uh, at all. Because they weren't, it wasn't similar behavior. The only thing that was similar yes. was the non-excitement of <laughs> making of out. So when you say non-excitement, when you were straddling him, did you feel the erection, any erection? I didn't, but that's not necessarily his fault because, and this is going to be You hard. were straddling him with titties out. How are you not getting hard? Here, And I'm not saying he wasn't hard, but I will say this. What? I had on a pair of stretchy denim black <laughs> pants that created a gap <laughs> in between from my, from my. Your what? My labia. <laughs> a gap. Yes. So were they drooping in the crotch? Is that why? Not drooping. They're stretchy and tight. Yes. So, but there was like a gap of between the fabric and where my. <laughs> why was there a gap? Because of the type of material and the well, the pant the way the pants were on me, they there was a gap. I don't know why, Jackie, but that's just. I what don't understand. Is. There's a gap. 
There the was material? A... Yes. How thick could what? that possibly have been? <laughs> I'm going to try and show you. Like, you see, like, right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's fabric here? Yeah. With those pants, it was, they were tighter and they're stretchier. Yeah. So, like, when we were, there was, like, space. I can't. Shouldn't you? Been, I was kind of. I wasn't full. I was kind of like on my knees, so I wasn't like. Fully, you weren't like fully straddled. I wasn't. My vagina wasn't smashed. You up know. You penis. know what? When you do straddle the kiss make out, it really isn't that much genital touching. There's not. Also, my. Yeah. I have like not great knees, mm-hmm. so I was also kind of in pain. Also. Also not comfortable. Not yeah, for long. Not. And that's why. And then yeah. we. So after the bra. Whenever came I straddle, off, I'm like, you ready to lay down now? Because my, yeah, knees, no, my knees are like, bitch, is, what are you doing? This is. You're thirst. very uncomfortable. <laughs> this is not comfortable <laughs> yeah. right now. Uh, and you can't fuck that way either. No. They do in porn, but I'm like, how are her knees not breaking right They're now? They're 20. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's how. Every time I try to straddle, for, even if he's got a huge dick, I'm like, I, it's like, hurts. hold on, I got to stretch first. Hold on a second. Can we lay down? <laughs> <laughs> hold on, I got to take a painkiller. Like, okay. <laughs> let me turn around. Hold on, let me, none of this let is Let me working. drink my joint juice real quick. <laughs> All right, mama's back. <laughs> Let's get at it. All right, for words off. Let me just stand up, turn around, and bend over it. Because yeah. I'm used to that. Because yeah. that I can do. I can work with. <laughs> so we're sitting on the couch. I'm straddling him. Uh huh. First time making out again, which was my, but he was the one that kissed me. Like he did lean in and start kissing me. Yeah. Um, which you're supposed to do. So I'm not, he's not getting credit for that. Like yeah. you're supposed to do that. Yeah. Um, so I, I take off the bra after we've been making out for like 10 minutes. Cause I had the strapless bra on and it was uncomfortable. I hate strapless bras. And so I was so like, when you took it off. Did he get all like, yes, but he didn't get excited at the, you voluntarily taking your bra off no, for and him. And that's what I'm saying. The excitement, what like, he was not as excited. A man would have a small as, parade in his head watching you take off your bra. And maybe he was playing it cool. I don't know. But yeah. either way, it wasn't coming out at all. Yeah. Which is like, you can, I can understand wanting to play down the excitement. Mm-hmm. But the woman, that's part of the fun is seeing how excited you are. Yes. And I know, I feel like it's the same way for men too. Like you get off on seeing us get off. Yes, so exactly. I took off the bra, but my shirt was still on. I had a tank top on. I, and I threw that. And then we kissed some more, made mm-hmm. out. And then I said, because I know he has a nice body. So I was like, I said to him, I was like, I want to see what's under here. Well, could you- I'm initiating everything. Yes. And then, so he was like, well, do you want to take this to the bedroom? And I was like, now we're talking. Oh. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> I can get on board with this guy. It was right? funny. You sound so white and so cute. <laughs> But in your head, you're like, nigga, finally, let's go do this shit. Yeah, I know. There's so many things I want to say that I can't I have to edit him. myself in front of a white dude. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> also, this is like the first time I've made out with a white dude in. Yeah. Years. Oh, you've done that before? Just once, made okay. out. I've never had sex with a white dude before. And neither have I. I never yeah. kissed a guy in the mouth before. Interesting. Yeah. It was different. Mm-hmm. It was different. Um, Does it taste different? It doesn't taste different. It was just, you know, Less lips? their lips aren't as full oh, yeah. most of the time. So I eat, that, fa- I eat faces when I kiss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you ready? Because I'm about to swallow your whole head. <laughs> your head. <laughs> in my mouth. And the ones who are attracted to me love that. Love it. Yes. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't? Yeah. <laughs> Want to be in your mouth. <laughs> so <laughs> it's delicious in there. It's good in there. Yeah. So we moved to the bedroom, mm-hmm. and I did let him know because I was not ready to have. I mean, I and I was like, yes, I was physically like I wanted to have sex, but at the same time, I was like, I'm not ready to have sex yet mm-hmm. uh, for whatever reason. I was like, I I kind of told myself like I want to wait because mm-hmm. I like this guy so much. I was like, I want to wait till we have more of a conversation about what we are and yeah. then we'll we'll have we'll deal with the sex okay. then. Was the but kissing was the kissing good? The, was the kissing, kissing was very good? nice. It was. Again, okay. but again it was not passion. It wasn't, it wasn't full of passion. It was, was just nice, but it was just Was the tongue? There was tongue. Okay. But it wasn't like I can't keep my hands off you. Oh, okay, which is gotcha. what normally happens when I'm with a guy for the first time. Yeah. Like I can't like you shouldn't I shouldn't it shouldn't be so easy for you to be like, all right, let's go, you know, <laughs> or like, I'm done. Let's, it's time to go. Uh, you have to like, you know, when there's a Kim, you got to like stop force it. Okay. Like I got to like, go. We got to stop. Yeah. And then there's more is... kissing after. And it's like, okay, this time for real. No, we got to stop. <laughs> and it was not that. Yeah. So we made out on the bed and it was nice. So it was like okay, another okay, half questions. hour. Were you on top of him laying side by side? He was on top of me this time. <clears throat> there you go. You felt, you still can feel anything? No. In the crotch because area? Of the, because of the pants. <laughs> I, I need for you to bring these pants next time <laughs> so I, I can throw these motherfuckers in the garbage. <laughs> it's like the worst pair of pants I've ever heard of in my life. They're blocking pleasure. What the hell they made of flax? They're blocking pleasure, but also, <laughs> I mean, maybe it wasn't the pants. What do you Did mean? you catch my drift? No. Maybe it's him. I don't get it. It was, we, Maybe he was having a problem in that area. Oh, he, he probably wasn't getting an erection. Maybe. Oh, okay. I don't know. Because so of his goddamn pants. Yeah. <laughs> 
may, but that's what I'm saying. What if it wasn't the pants? That's what in my head was like. Yeah. Oh, these pants. There's space here. But then I'm like, if he maybe was, he was small and you, didn't, and you and maybe feel these it. are a lot. There are a lot of variables. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> and the thing is, you don't know what's down I, there, and I'll never know. You'll never know now. Okay. So we were making out, and again, it was nice. We made out for like another half hour or so. <gasps> a mm-hmm. Half hour, should just be. like kissing and just being nice and some petting, but <laughs> nothing in the genital area. It was just all titties up. in the mouth. Yeah, and my shirt was off at this point too. Like my ah! shirt had come off when we got in the bedroom. Shirt came off. It hair in the wag pants and titties. Yeah. <laughs> Whack pants. Whack pants and titties. That's going to be my new Twitter handle. <laughs> Whack pants and titties. <laughs> <laughs> so you had on these burlap pants yeah. and were your titties in the mouth? actually a snowsuit. <laughs> <laughs> it was Gore-Tex. I couldn't feel anything. <laughs> Just in the crotch area. Everything else was, Everything else was regular was cotton. Thin. <laughs> yeah, these, Micra. These, these fortified crotch pants. <laughs> I actually wore just a cod piece like Cameo <laughs> back in the day. Ow. <laughs> like candy. Ow. I can feel it. Hey, wow. Yeah, I couldn't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we made out mm-hmm. and then. Were your titties in his mouth at any point? Yes. Okay. There were nipples in, in the mouth. Yes. And it was set. Everything sounds great so far. I know. I was really enjoying it. And I was in the moment and mm-hmm. I kind of wanted to keep going. But then he stopped me yeah. and then goes. And again, true to what he had been doing. Stopping abruptly uh-huh. each time. Yeah, abruptly and was like, um, well, I have stuff to do. I'm going to have to kick you out. Huh. And he did actually, like, I don't doubt that he had worked to you because he is like a professional and he's like, nice job and he's you a can responsible hurt. You adult. Can, you can quickly finger me and get back to work. Yeah, absolutely. Most true. guys can. Hashtag facts, right? <laughs> Hashtag IJS. Right. Just but wait, saying. then this is the kicker. What? It gets worse. What? That wasn't even the worst part. The worst part was this. What? So I'm laying there, mm-hmm. and you were laying down flat on your back. I'm on my back, and he's sitting. He's sitting up now. He was he was on top of me before, and, and now you're he's just sitting up, vulnerable, laying down. Yeah, half naked. girls out, just like comfortable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then he goes, "Oh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking in my head because this is right before Christmas. Yes. So he's about to go uh, home uh-huh. for Christmas. Yes. For like three weeks. Uh huh. I'm gonna be gone after he leaves for like two weeks. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, either way, we're not gonna see each other until the new year. Yeah. And I say to him, <clears throat> "Well, I'm leaving. So do you want to?" Say goodbye to the girls. Yeah. Meaning my boobs. Uh-huh. His response, and this is a quote. <laughs> and this is what I want feedback on, yes. fellas who are listening. Uh-huh. Please let me know if this is normal or not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm already, no, this is not because I've asked a bunch of my straight male friends and uh-huh. they said that's not normal. Remember what Lachlan said? You got to say goodbye. Go ahead. You got to say goodbye to the girl. Yeah. <laughs> he said it so low key. He did. It was so But it's so impactful the way so he said funny. it. I love Lachlan. <laughs> so do I. Shout out to Lachlan he Patterson. Could, he could get it. He'll never he's hear this. Fine. Oh, he'll he's never fine. He'll never hear this. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to send it to him. <laughs> he knows he's I, fine. Your girlfriend, wonderful. I love her. But if she wasn't, I've never I'm met saying. his girlfriend. She's beautiful. Of course she is. She yeah. looks like the female version of him, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he's gorgeous. <laughs> anyway, so uh-huh. then I say to him, do you want to say goodbye to the girls? And this is a quote. Mm-hmm. He says, mm, no, nah, I have a good memory. <laughs> Candace just walked out of the building, by the way, by. She got in her car and drove off. <laughs> I felt so defeated. That, that is horrible. And at the time, I was like, that was just mean. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, was it, maybe he doesn't know that that's not a nice thing to say to someone who's topless and <laughs> Who's half him. naked, pointing to them. Right. After we just had such a nice, like, yeah. intimate thing happen it was, for the yeah, first it was time. Kurt. It was Kurt. Again. Kurt yeah. and tactless and just to me at the time mean mm-hmm. and then when I told this story to some other straight men they were like do you think he's gay mm-hmm. and that didn't dawn on me at all because okay. then also now also I forgot to say so after we both left for Christmas after mm-hmm. this makeout session happened that was the last time we seen each other mm-hmm. I get an email and he's like I uh, he's breaking up with me not that we were together. We weren't exclusive. We didn't have that talk. But he's mm-hmm. basically saying there's a lot going on. He has some family issues. There's a lot going on. Mm-hmm. And I don't think I can give you in like romantically what you're looking for, mm-hmm. basically. But I would like to still be friends. And I'm just like, at the time when I read the email, I was like dis- disappointed. I almost started crying. But I was at the mm-hmm. dinner table with my family. <laughs> With my whole entire family. Your, your, phone, your phone you looked at and you yes, read Yes, it? it's an email that I'm reading at the table. In, we're in Chicago. I've got my uh, whole family sitting around me. And I'm just like, son of a bitch. Uh-huh. Fighting back tears. And then so, I, but I responded to the email. And I'm just like, because he told me that he was having family issues. And he told me what exactly it was, which mm-hmm. I will not say, obviously. Yeah. But I just wrote back. I get it. I understand. Family comes first. If that's where your priorities need to be right now, then that's, I understand that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll still be here uh, for you. Yeah. 
But then, like, he responded back by saying, well, let's talk when we get back to L.A. You're so, like, why? Well, in my head, that was like, I, I that seemed hopeful to me. I was okay. like, oh, maybe he sat with what he said and mm-hmm. was like, maybe that was too rash of a decision to make. I like this person. It all it's happened via hard. email. Let me talk to her. Right. Yeah, like, yeah. maybe we can work something out. Maybe mm-hmm. what I'm dealing with right now, I'm emotional because I'm at home, but maybe there's something we can work out because we do like each other. Yeah. And so. Or he, or he could say, you know, all I can do is fuck you. I can't be your man. You'd be like, you know what? I'm I'll open. I'll take it. <laughs> Sold. Yeah. <laughs> as quickly, he doesn't even finish the email. Sold. <laughs> when do you want to start? I'm so thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> So thirsty. That's what the name of this podcast would be. Thirst. I think we did come. I think we did actually think of the thirst first. And I was like, the struggle is more broad. Yeah. So then uh, we get back to L.A. Mm-hmm. He sends me an, a text like a week after we had both been back and was like, can we go to dinner next week? And I'm just like, oh, OK. Mm-hmm. So maybe like we're going to talk through this thing through and get through it. Yeah. And I tell him about the show that I was about to do this dance. I did. I don't know if you've ever you the comedy sort of thing. I've, I saw the pictures. Justine Marino yeah. and Justin Martin. Yeah, you had on some sh- you had on some dolphin shorts. You had on some short shiny I had on shorts. A, I had on a velour. Yes, a velour. <laughs> me and Loey, we had on matching velour track sweatshirts. What's funny is that you don't you don't do many videos online, so your pictures are kind of like what the fuck is she is doing? This? <laughs> it, what is this? You know, I do, what is this? I do stories, but I don't post a bunch of Instagram videos. Yeah, for some reason. So all we got to go by is what the fuck what is she is doing? This? Yeah, no, I'm trying to. I want Justine to send me the fucking actual video of yeah. it, but they're being shady about it for yeah. some reason. Anyway, so I I told him and while during this text exchange about going to dinner, I was like, you, I've got a show. I was like, it has to be after or dinner. Has to be after I do this dance show because I'm stressing out about this. I learned a very ambitious Rihanna dance. <laughs> Uh-huh. I learned choreography from the Millennium Dance Complex. If you ever see on Instagram, those yeah. choreo- I mm-hmm. learned to choreograph dance. I watch those videos at night before I go to bed. They're, so I do I. Them. I watch them all the time. Yeah. That's all I follow on Instagram. <laughs> and so I learned one of these choreographed dances for, mm-hmm. this, for this competition show. Yeah. So I was like, it has to be after Tuesday because I'm stressed out. So he was like, uh, I, I asked him, I was like, because again, I thought there was some hope for us. So I was mm-hmm. like, well, or do you want to come to the show? And he was like, sure. So he ended up coming to the show. Nice. We go, he meets my manager. She's like, Candace, he is fantastic. Aww. She was like, don't fuck this up. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm trying not to fuck it up. But I was like, I don't know, for whatever reason, he's having issues yeah. with whatever's going on with us. So mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't want to. I like, I really like him. Mm-hmm. So then... Uh, we go out to dinner two days later and we great conversation. Like, and that's when I was gotten to that fist fight and with he, that chick up in the parking. He he situation. saw you with a cute little shorts, Jackie, your little no, outfit. This is the whole nother part of the story. He saw me do a pretty sexy dance. Yes. Like the dance I did to, was to Rihanna uh-huh. and DJ Khaled's wild thoughts. <gasps> cool. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you the dance video. All that I sex, I'll, all sex. Yeah. I had straight women coming up to me after the show saying, Candace, <laughs> I look at you completely differently. <laughs> yeah. And I like Coach T, the DJ for mm-hmm. that show came up to me. He was like, damn me, Candace. <laughs> Everybody in the so room. so sexy. Everybody in the room got an erection, guys and girls. Yes. And he's right. like, you want to get a coffee? No. <laughs> Just was like, well, that was great. Like complimented me, tell me I did a great job. But like, there's no, if, like, there's no reason why a, like a straight dude watching me would not have been like, we fucking in this green room right now. <laughs> like that would have gone down. And that was kind of my plan. And like, you're like, well, I look sexy. Yeah, I, I got gonna, you turned on. I'm, you want to get out of here? I'm going to invite you, him to the show. He's going to see me do this sex. He's not going to be able to resist these sexy dance moves. You were waiting for the exact sentence that we all love to hear sometimes. Want to yeah. get out of here? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Went downstairs and had some drinks. He met my manager again. Yeah. That's when the good conversation happened. So then, uh-huh. so now fast forward to two days later, we're at dinner. Uh huh. And we're having great conversations, just like we always do. Yeah. We never skip a beat. Like he's he's a very funny person mm-hmm. too, and he's not intimidated by my funny. So yeah. it's like we just go back and forth. Yeah. Um, and he's very handsome too. So like it was just kind of like the package for me. Like oh, finally, mm-hmm. like a nice guy who's yeah. actually funny, not intimidated by me. Yeah. Treats me well and whatever, except for the whole I got a good memory bullshit. Yeah. But <laughs> aside from that, like we're having great time. So uh-huh. then at the end of the date, or I guess it wasn't a date mm-hmm. in his eyes, we leave. Go to my car. I drive him to his car and he's about to get out. And I was just like, well, we still need to talk. Like you said, you wanted to talk via email. And he goes, yeah. well, yeah, I think we should just be friends. <laughs> so that dance put him over the edge. He I don't like, know. He was like, that was so sexy. I, I, I got to get the fuck out of this. <laughs> Either that or it affected him in not in the slightest. Yeah. 
Where he was like, where he was like, girlfriend, (laughs) you got to teach me those dance moves. Where you get those shorts, though, girl? (laughs) Yeah, like either he enjoyed it for the wrong reasons reasons. (laughs) or he didn't enjoy it at all. Uh huh. Um, And what'd you say? I was in shock. And at the time, because again, like, you know, I had been in my head thinking this whole time for the past like two weeks Mm -hmm. thinking, oh, we're going to work on things and we're going to, you know, make it make things fine. And then so when he said that, I was just kind of like in shock and I got very emotional and I just said, I don't really understand. And he goes, well, it's just I don't feel like I can give you what you deserve. And like you're the physical stuff's going to complicate things and complicate things like what? When guys and girls like each other, it's not complicated. It's called living. Exactly. That's what I and I'm saying all these things. And he's like, well, I'm he's like, and I'm probably going to move back home. Uh, and he's like, not immediately, but like sometime probably in the next, I guess, couple of years or so, I think. He, what he's saying in a couple of years. He didn't say that, but he just said he's going to have to move back home. But he said not immediately. So in my head, I'm thinking for someone, he's going to have to move back home. But I'm I'm thinking realistically, maybe in the next couple of years or something like that. Either he's, like, he's madly in love with you and is afraid to even I, go one step further. That, or he could have fucked the shit out of you until he moved. And that's what... <laughs> You were open for. You were like, I was all right. ready. And that's what I said. I was just like, I be heavy until you go. Right. Why can't we do I that? Said, well, I said, <laughs> if people, two people like each other a lot, then that's just some, a bridge we'll cross when we come to it. Yeah, like yeah. you don't just dispose of something out of fear. I was like, I don't make any decisions based off yeah. fear. I was like, you see what I do for a living. Like if I yeah. did that, I'd have no career. I would be, you know, yeah. still living in Cincinnati. Although I had a guy ghost me because he was moving. So here's the thing. So many men. But he's not moving soon. I know. Like one was dude moving. He ghosted you because he's probably moving the he next month. He didn't know. He was in the military, but he knew he was going to get orders to move. So like to prove your point, he was going to move at some point. He didn't know whether it was going to be in two weeks or 12 months. Oh. So, but he ghosted me. I remember. <laughs> That's what was so it? Crazy, Book of though. Book of Eli mm-hmm. was the last movie he took me to. Hilarious. We saw Book of Eli. Mm-hmm. We came back to his apartment and he, and he fucked me like he had never done before. And I realized it was a goodbye fuck. At least you got that. And then I went home and mm-hmm. I never heard from him again. That was how he ghosted me. And then he found me on Facebook and seven years later Stop and apologized. It. Stop it. <laughs> I told you why. But I also thought he might have been gay. Although I was confused because the sex was very straight and great. But I had some, you know, some some things in my head that made me be like, I wonder if he's just good at being able to satisfy a woman. And I was going to say men. there are dudes who, well, he could be bi also. Yeah, That's yeah, another thing. Yeah. Um, but if he was bi, I don't think he would have ghosted for that reason. Um, it's just, it's so hard. And what people don't understand about living in LA mm-hmm. and in Hollywood is that there are so many gay men, mm-hmm. like so many. Yeah. They're like, how are you getting hit on by, and I'm like, because they're out in these streets. Mm-hmm. And they want to be with you. They just don't want to be with you. Right. They want to be around you. They they they, they, <laughs> they want. I think they want to be us. Yes, a lot and of I time. think a lot of. I think I don't think a gay man being attracted to an attractive woman means they're not gay. I mean, they still like you. They just don't well, want to fuck fine, you. But don't date me. Yeah, like we can exactly. hang out all day. Yeah, all right. But let don't ruin my life. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> like, is there a way for you not for me to not get clobbered in this situation? So what in the car? You said I might have to move in a few years, and then what? Well, yeah, he didn't. He didn't put a time frame on. He didn't say years. Yeah, he just he said, said it's it's, it's more than likely. He, He's like, my life, I was planning it for to be out here in mm-hmm. L.A. And now I'm finding out that that's not the case. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, well, again, I don't I, that doesn't make sense to me. I don't think I don't abandon things that I think are good just mm-hmm. out of fear. No. And that's what I said. And then he goes, I think we should just be friends. God. And then he was like, are you OK with that? And I said, no. Wow. I'm not. And I'm welling up. Paul. I feel like I want to cry. Well, uh, and then I did. I proceeded to cry for 45 minutes in the car. Why didn't you call me? You don't use me. Utilize me. Oh, okay. I you didn't, could have called me. You no, know, like I don't utilize anybody when I'm in that state. I need to I was, And I didn't realize. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, ra- I'd rather smoke and drink and figure it out. And, that, and that's normally. Okay, well, that's good to know. We have yeah. each other as a lifeline. Yes. Now, yes. Um, this podcast is a healing podcast. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah, no, I proceeded to sit in the car in Culver City for 45 minutes and cry uh, and then went home and then proceeded to cry for another 16 like hours. Oh it my God. Bad. It was bad. I went and also, and I'm not, I don't, I'm not putting all this on him. I was very upset about like having the potential of like a great guy being finally someone who was into me yeah. as opposed to all these shitbirds. So I was excited about <laughs> that. New word, guys. Shitbirds. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that that I was devastated about that. But yeah. also I think I hadn't cried in such a long time. I think it had been a couple Cleansing. of years. You haven't cried in years? I don't think so. I think it's been a couple of years. Every morning. <laughs> <laughs> 
somebody who knows me well, like, oh, here she goes. She's crying again. She's crying again, guys. She's crying. The guy had a good premise and it made her tear up. Like, I cry like, over bullshit. Oh, like, <laughs> but I think that's healthy. Yeah, and I yeah. think it was unhealthy for me to hold that in. And I, I think what was more devastating to me than losing this guy was just, again, like, God, when? <laughs> God, when? You didn't cry with the last boyfriend? Streets. No, well, okay. the last guy, he wasn't my boyfriend. It was just like a year and a half of two people, a year and a half of two people like enjoying each other's company, not really having a conversation about what we were doing, okay, not being gotcha. exclusive. But I did like him. Mm -hmm. I knew he wasn't the one. Yeah. And I knew that I had just been sleeping with him for so long that I just got used and you comfortable. You both got connected. Yeah. Right. Without any, what are we doing type of thing. Right. Yeah. And yeah, no, he's never anybody that I would take seriously in a relationship. He's a fuck boy, basically. Yeah, yeah. But he was, I guess, a nice fuck boy, but a fuck boy nonetheless. As yeah. nice as a fuck boy could be. Did you hear from the other guy again? The, the last one we're talking about? Um, After the next day, the next morning when I woke up, yeah. I text him <gasps> and I just said, because I, I text him, I said, there's, I got really emotional in the car. Yeah. And this was in between like crying i stopped crying for the, like 45 the, the minutes the razor blades you went to buy but between all that yeah no i meditate <laughs> i made myself meditate in the yeah, in the gun i bought a gun and a, <laughs> <laughs> and a gerbil i don't yeah. know what i'm doing with that but i just wanted something furry and, <laughs> and a gerbil i needed to hold something i wanted to be held and my manager being so sweet her name is nat, nat right yeah she, i met her before is probably. she middle eastern she's jewish okay and she's long she's hair Russian always in a ponytail not always, but sometimes. Yeah. It's up, but she Because she texted me to, she texted me one time for West Side and I was. Oh, yeah, I was yeah. She broke. runs uh, you, you, Unnecessary Evil, UE. That's yeah. her? Mm hmm. Matt. Matt yes. Yeah. I, okay. I like her. I yeah. don't know why. No, we, she's, we barely talked. She's great. But I get a warmth from she's her great. text. Yeah, yeah, no, she was there, you know, when we did our Fox showcase and she was like, Jackie killed it. Yeah. She loves you. Yeah, oh, she's great. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, she's such a sweetheart. She mm -hmm. knew because, you know, I told her she met dude She at, after the dance show and she loved him. And yeah, like, she was like, she was, oh, a she fan. was like, right. And she, and she here was like, we go. She was like, I don't like anybody, Candace. So, <gasps> this really? is a good sign. And she was like, I have a good feeling about this. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. You're the only one. <laughs> So you told him you were fucked up and wanted to oh, die. She, and what did he say? Well, really quickly, she yes. dropped off at my doorstep a little furry stuffed lion because she was like, Aww. I know you need to snuggle right now. So she brought me a stuffed lion. Um, so then I text him after I woke up the next morning and mm -hmm. meditated or whatever. And then I said I got really emotional in the car and I didn't get exactly out everything that I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. Um, but I told him about the context of how I had gotten my expectations back up after we had come back from Christmas break mm -hmm. because of the email and because you said, let's go to dinner. And I told him, yeah. which he wasn't aware of because I didn't even realize that. But he didn't know. He probably thought she read the email and mm -hmm. knew that we're done. Yeah. And we're just being friends right now. But I'm like, no, who can transition mm -hmm. into friendship that like quickly, that? quickly, yeah. Which is another red flag, which mm -hmm. I'm like, no one... And I said that I was like, dude, I can't just turn off feelings. And that is weird to me. So mm -hmm. something there's something weird going on that I don't necessarily trust, mm -hmm. because if someone stops dating you and then they're just like, well, let's just be friends. That's immediately buddies. It takes, it's it takes like months or years. It's like you're either dead inside and yeah. those feelings were never there or mm -hmm. those feelings were never there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So mm -hmm. then that and that's where I am with him right now. Either you were dishonest with me about something and I don't trust you mm -hmm. um, or somehow you are some type of weird villain, super villain, where you can just shut off feelings immediately and compartmentalize whatever it was that you were having yeah. for some person. And now yeah. you, whatever happens in your personal life, you can just put, shut down. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Back <laughs> to that again. Boop, 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 boop. Um, so anyway, I said that to him and I was like, I think we will eventually get to be friends, but right now I need space. And he wrote back, I totally understand that. Hope to hear from you soon, but I get that space is needed. And I wrote back, I was like, no, dude. Not going to be soon. What you mean? Soon? <laughs> Not going to be soon. Uh -huh. You basically dumped me. Uh, and also I said to him, I said, you're going to start dating somebody in this event, like mm -hmm. six months from now, whatever. You're going to start dating somebody yeah. and you're going to let that person in your life and you're choosing for that person to not be me. So this is what I'm letting, you know, yeah. settle in right now. So mm -hmm. it's not going to be soon, dude. Yeah. And then he wrote back like understood. But even like his text messages and his text messages from Jump were always very sterile. Like I felt like there was nothing, yeah. no emotion or anything. Did you meet this dude again? We met a long time ago and I want, I think we met on Twitter. He hit me up. I remember he was following me on Twitter, I think is what happened. And uh -huh. he hit me up and was like, you're funny. Would you want to come do stand up at this event that I'm 
producing yeah. for his, he has a, an organization that he runs. And mm-hmm. anyway, so I was like, sure. So then I went to that event and I brought a friend with me. And so Ed, Ed Greer went with me. So the, we, the three of us were hanging out that night uh-huh. and this was like five years ago though. And then we did go out on one date after that event happened, but I had just gotten out of my relationship with my other gay guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I was traumatized uh-huh. and not in a place. And we did go out and again, it was just one date and Mm-hmm. nothing happened after that like I didn't hear from him for a while and what it just kind of fizzled out um and then but I would hear back from him like periodically like over the years mm-hmm. he would ask me to come back to that event or mm-hmm. can I come to one of your shows or whatever <clears throat> um but yeah this was the first time and then he asked me out to dinner in August okay and, and, must, and all that makes me think oh he wants to smash that's what I thought I was Jackie you don't understand how confused I am yeah, like yeah. it's like kind of like you were checking for me for like five years yeah like you were following me on Instagram, you're on all my social media mm-hmm. things, and you're con- like, I'm you hit like, me up, ask me out, I agree to, so we're y- obviously going to smash at some point. At some point, yeah, that shouldn't be right. A yeah. bizarre thing for me to think. Yeah. So I'm just confused at this point. Well, he's gone. He's gone, and I'm totally over it. And I have since like tried to hit on another person yeah. who then I was not just. I just said, "Can we snuggle?" And this is a friend of mine, okay, who was also a comic. Yeah. And I'm not against fucking comics, by I the mean, way. I was, but now I'm just like, I quit. I give up. <laughs> don't I'm, give I, up. Not quit, but I mean, I'm just going to give so up. So you snuggled with, my... with, you snuggle with a new guy. Well, and then no. What? You didn't snuggle? No. Why? <laughs> so I hit him up, and this is someone like I love. Like, I love this dude. Like, uh-huh. not in love with him, but yeah, like, we have such great conversation. Yeah. And I was like, can we you just. You got to tell me when this shit is oh, over. Oh, absolutely. Yes. I was like, can we just snuggle? And yeah. he wrote back. Oh, oh, well, actually, Nat was helping me. Yes. You ever see, you know who Cyrano, Cyrano de Bergerac is? Yes. The the movie and yeah. their book. And then they made, they always do like every five or 10 years, there's a movie. that. So there was Cyrano de Bergerac, which mm-hmm. was the French yeah. version. And then there came like Roxanne with Steve Martin. Yeah. Then came The Truth About Cats and Dogs with Uma Thurman. And uh, that was the girl version and mm-hmm. Janine Garofalo. And then yeah. they did Hitch with Will Smith and yeah. Kevin James. Uh-huh. And it's all about this person who has a hard time Le- dating on, yeah, dating getting, or hitting on women. Coach. So they have someone else yeah, coach spit them. the words for them. Mm-hmm. So I met Nat was at my place, my manager, and we're at and I was like, I think I'm going to text him and ask him to snuggle. And she was like, go for it. And I was like, well, what do I say? So she's telling me she she said, say his name. Yeah. And I'm not going to say his name on air. OK, no, please. She was like, say his name. <laughs> yeah. And then just write dot, dot, dot. And then hit send. And I was like, OK. So I hit did it and then hit send. Oh, I, there's his name. His there's- name. Dot, dot, dot. Send. They like that. Every now and then I'm just like. Bluh, bluh, bluh. Yeah. And then, then they'll, they'll hit back. Yes. Yeah, I think that's so hot. I don't well, know why. She was like, don't wait for him to respond. She said, as soon as you write the dot, 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 hit send and then start writing the next part okay. and then just write, can we snuggle sometime? <gasps> Question mark. Clearly asking the smash. That is clear I in mean, 2018 from a woman who is straight and pretty. That is clear. A, even from a non-pretty yeah, woman. Sorry. A human. Any human Any text human. you want to snuggle. He or she's it's trying to smash. It's leaving the door open because, yes. you know, we could snuggle, but we maybe it's opening for something else it, also. Yeah. Let's just explore. <laughs> let's explore one another. That's what a snuggle means. That's yes. the subtext of snuggle. A snuggle let's means just come over and let's Let's see. let our genitals be next to one another yeah. and see what happens and see where that leads. Spoon with you behind me, yeah. preferably. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If it's the other way around, I'm not interested. <laughs> so then yeah. uh, she goes, and then send an emoji of two animals. Or not an emoji, a gif of two animals snuggling. <gasps> so then we went through trying to find the right <laughs> gif. And we stumbled across like two otters that were snuggling. <laughs> So, so, we hit that one. so then he writes back, well, yeah, comma. Uh-huh. Yes. Where did you get that from? <laughs> I, talking about the gif. Sometimes and comma like, makes a fucking dance. Fuck this drift, gif, whatever it is. Back to the snuggle Focus part. Focus on the snuggle part. part. Which he did respond to the well, yeah. He yeah, wrote, yeah. That was his well, yeah. Okay. And then so I said, what are your snuggle avails? <laughs> well, the cutest flirtation Nat, ever. Nat said, Ask what his snuggle avails are. This is the cutest hilarious. flirtation so she goes ever. Ask him what his snuggle avails. And I said, What are your snuggle avails? And he wrote back, um, Evening time. Oh, is oh my best. God. You know what's funny? Mm-hmm. I want to steal all of that. I love the snuggle avails. Just take it. If it's the same guy, he'll be like, Hey. It, it's not. I guarantee <laughs> it's not. It was. I'll tell you who it is, but I guarantee it's not. It'd be hilarious if it was. <laughs> is your guy white? No. Mine okay. is. Oh, okay. I'm delving into this whiteness. I'm no. just going to see what it's like. Okay. I'm curious now. Uh huh. It's a fetish now. I'm fetishizing <laughs> white men. You hear me? They always fetish- fetish- you fetishize they us? They fetishize How us? How the fuck do you like it? <laughs> so there, yeah, we got to wrap this up. So then we'll be done as soon as I'm done with this. No, I'm not, so not, then, I'm not in any rush. Go ahead. Oh, no, but he said five minutes. Don't we need to wrap it up? Yeah, yeah we got to wrap it up. Oh, so then uh, he writes back, nights are good. 
He said, but I'm busy up until Sunday. So after mm-hmm. that, and I wrote back, okay, I said, bet, well, I'll hit you up on Monday mm-hmm. and, or if I don't see you that if the, at the comedy store before then, because yeah. we always see each other. So okay. then um, he wrote back, perf. <laughs> and I'm like, perf. That's what everyone writes, perf. Is he a regular at the comedy store? I can't disclose that information. You can't, not on the air. Not on the air. Go ahead. Uh, someone will figure that out just yeah. from what I'm saying. <laughs> so I'm not going to disclose that information. Okay. So then Monday, mm-hmm. oh, actually I saw him at the store and he was walking down the hallway and I kind of didn't, I was facing one direction. I turned around and I saw, and he was about to like, I don't mm-hmm. think, cause I was can't, kind of standing off to the side. So yeah. I don't think I was in his eye line. So uh-huh. he didn't. And then he walks by and I was like, <clears throat> uh-huh. and he goes, Oh, so then we start talking really quickly. Yeah. We're in a two minute conversation. Uh-huh. He had just had some stuff happen. Mm-hmm. Not bad, but whatever. We're talking about that. Didn't even get to the snuggling part. Someone comes up and interrupts him and someone comes up and interrupts me. Next thing you know, we're like not talking to one another. Then I finish my conversation. He's still standing there and I turn around and he's like, he's like, I have to go. And I was like, oh, no, no, you're good. And he goes, I, we hug. And I said, I'm going to text you. And he goes, great. So yeah, head our separate ways. All right. Text him on Monday. Yes. This just this past Monday. Oh, recent. Yes, just happened. Yeah. And I said, um, <laughs> what did I say? Oh, I said, are you, are night still, hey, are night still good for you this week? Mm-hmm. I'm pretty flexible, pun absolutely I about, intended. I was about to say, literally. <laughs> uh-huh. To which he writes back, oh, God. I my can't. name. We have names for each other okay. that we call each other, but I can't say because then again, that might be Give too much away. information. Okay. So he says this in my my name and in, in what how he says my name, uh-huh. period. And he goes, I just went on a date with somebody last night. Oh, for Christ fucking sake. And it went well enough that I'm planning on seeing her again. And I'm I'm going to be a good guy and not be a hoe. So she's not your girlfriend yet. I know, but I under, and I actually respect what yes, he's saying. I'm sorry, my bad. I'm being and, I'm being right. Warning. No, me too. <laughs> you know, I was like, who is this bitch? <laughs> <laughs> and you went out with it once. Right. You fucking and she's sad. taking priority over precedence over me. So you're We've a pussy. Each other Good to years. know. No. <laughs> Which is what we want. Like, yeah. I want to, I would love for a guy to say that if I was the date. I know, right? right? I know. So that's what I'm trying to put myself in her shoes or whatever. Yeah. And I know, this is not a guy who, I know this is a nice guy. Like, yeah, we've yeah. known each other for years and yeah. I've never heard a bad thing about him. We have great conversations and I trust him. Okay. So I wasn't doubting anything that he said, but he said, um, I don't want to be a hoe. And I, but he's like, I don't want to ruin this before this inevitably, inevitably fails on its own. <laughs> pessimistic when it comes to relationships Hilarious. but he's like I just want to be like respectful mm-hmm. and so I wrote back and I said haha completely understand that and I respect that mm-hmm. um I was like we always have great conversation and I just thought we should get to know each other better mm-hmm. um uh, I was like well you know maybe we can revisit this whenever whatever happens with your relationship I'm yeah. sure I'll still be single because I'm chronically single <laughs> and then he wrote back uh like just so you know I feel the exact same way yeah Everything you just said is true. Uh-huh. Um, and then I wrote back, okay, well, let's put a pin in us. Mm-hmm. And that's where it left off. <laughs> Showbiz. Showbiz talk. <laughs> Showbiz talk for let's revisit this later. <laughs> God, we don't have time for my story. I have a story too. I put made a pin it. in that. Put a pin. Damn it. All right. So we a pin. record next week. Okay. You guys, this has been The Struggle. Thanks for tuning in. Ooh, I'm, exa- I'm exhausted. I know. We talked a lot. This we, was good. This was, was cathartic. Yes, it was. Now we're going to go home and cry. Jackie, where can everyone <laughs> find you on social media? Uh, Pornhub. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> JackieFabulous.com. <laughs> I'm at JackieFabulous.com. That leads you to everything glittery and, and fabulous. Fantastic. And you can find me at Jokes by Candace on Instagram, Snapchat, which I never use. It, and me too. I have Twitter, my Snapchat. I never use it. And CandaceThompsonComedy.com. Why is your voice getting lower? I don't know. Because I'm going to cry. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> going to get some Halo top. <laughs> Bye, guys. Night, night.